Good morning, family. Monday morning. Um, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to be with you this morning and to share the word with you. Um, we've, we've gone through a, a, the first seven months of the year. This is the last uh, week of July. And uh, these seven months have gone very quickly for me. I... Uh, I was busy with all kinds of things uh, during the lockdown, um, rearranging, reorganizing. Uh, I did some painting at, at home. I even uh, tried my skills at uh, being a mechanic. I worked on one of the vehicles uh, from our business. And uh, one of my friends said, uh, when I told him I was doing some work on the vehicle, he said to me, I didn't even know that you had uh, tools to do uh, something like that, but yes. Um, that's not my forte, but also we had time to spend in the Word of God. And I think that's so important. Uh, and I want to uh, share with you this morning, I want to share with you um, on trust. You know, um, I, I think that we all, um, in, at some stage in our lives, we, we relied on people. We've asked people or um, trusted that people were going to do something for us and they let us down. They disappointed us. And if we had to be brutally honest this morning, I think people also uh, relied on us at times and trusted that we would do things that we said we would do and we disappointed them. So, you know, we, we all want um, something or someone that we can rely on, that we can trust. And uh, I want to share with you a word in Isaiah 26. Verse 3, it says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. What does this verse say? What it is saying is that um, God will keep us in perfect peace if our minds are focused on him, because we trust in him. Verse 4 says, Trust in Jehovah forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isn't that just awesome? He will give us peace. And not just any peace. A perfect peace. The word says if we trust in Jehovah, He will give us everlasting strength. And I believe that's really what we need in this time. So I want to encourage you. You know the word stayed means lean upon. Take hold of. Establish. You see, family, the more time we spend in the Word, the more time we meditate on the Word of God, the better we get to understand God, the better we get to know God, the stronger our relationship with God gets. Now, the question is, how do we stay our minds? How do we focus our minds? Now, the answer is, Paul gives us the answer in Romans 12, verse 2. He says, And do not, confirm, do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind in order to prove by you what is that good and pleasing and perfect will of God. So there's the answer. We need to focus our minds on God. We need to renew our minds we're not part of this world. We're in this world, but we're not part of this world. We cannot allow that, this wor that, that the world that we're in form us. You see, God reveals His world to us. In Ephesians 1, the Word says that He reveals His um, world to us. So we know the will of God. And the more time you spend in the Word, the more you will know His will for your life. So I want to encourage you this morning. Spend time with Him. Focus on the Lord. There's a lot of things happening in the world at the moment. You know, if we look at the political situation, um, the stability in the world, it's not there. So we really need to trust. And the only one that you can trust on is God. Let God give you that, uh, that peace and that strength. Because we need strength to get through these times. It's important. Um, people that fear lose their strength. That's just the way it is. You lose your strength if you're filled with fear. And the Word tells us in, in Philippians not to be concerned 
over anything, but to, to allow God um, to do what he does. So I want to encourage you this morning that you focus on the Lord, focus your mind on the Lord, uh, stay your mind on God. So let's pray together. Father, thank you this morning that we uh, read in your word, Father God, that you will give us a perfect peace, Lord. And we come this morning, Father God, and we pray that you will help us, that we, we will remain focused on you, Father God, that you'll give us a, a love and a passion for your word, Father God. We thank you this morning, Lord, that we can pray for our brothers and our sisters that are ill. Uh, we release your word of uh, healing upon them, Father God, that there will be a, a, a perfect um, healing in their bodies, Father God. Thank you that we can also pray for people that have a need, Lord. We know, Father God, that you will supply every need, Father God. And we want to thank you for that in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I want to bless you this morning. And uh, we'll talk again on Wednesday morning. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Amen.